I'm Toby and this is Sea Life. Today we're going to put up some fencing around our peach trees because our sheep and our horse get into them. There's always another post. On a farm, that's one thing you've got to be used to, cutting up fancy. And uh, I don't know if Daniel told you about our old horse getting into these trees. And the sheep. So, most of the, d the day today, we have been scrounging up fence posts. People to hear them. It is windy out here today. It feels amazing. It just has uh, a beautiful temperature. Yeah, uh, it's fall day. Yeah, it's almost like a fall day here, yeah. <laughs> and it's still summer, that's right. So, so here Daniel goes. Here a post, there a post, everywhere a post. Everywhere. <laughs> if you're on a farm, you know what I'm talking about. Um, so, we got the, we set the big post, now we have to set the little post, and of course there's those in between posts. We've got all sorts of posts. And, uh, Daniel used his ingenuity this morning, and he pulled these posts out of the ground with his winch. And a couple trees in a line, so that was pretty cool. When he thought of it, he thought, well, it would have been nice if I would have had a eight-foot dry pot or something I could have just hung my, uh, my winch line from. To pull these posts out. And we'll probably build one of those because chances are, like I said, we'll be using it over and over again. It's always about fence posts. Quite often. Tried and tried to grow peach trees, pear trees, apple trees. Uh, we do have one pear tree that I think we might have taken. We really don't have fruit from it yet. But uh, we have tried and tried. It. But our pear tree is getting very good in stature right now. So nice and tall, and it looks nice and healthy. So it may survive. But, uh, yeah, that apple tree there that I had planted with it just doesn't uh, doesn't look good at all. And uh, I, I think the sheep decided to eat the bark off of it. That's what had happened. So what we've learned is that you have to protect your trees from your sheep and your horse, your fruit trees. Um, I'll show you our pear tree here because it's doing beautiful and then I'll show you the apple tree that's behind it. I don't know why this pear tree is surviving it somewhat. Uh, it's about five years old and I would think it would start producing. But what we have on it is just some little bitty, teeny tiny, it looks like pear seeds instead of pears. So. And 
and it is quite the exercise. It will help you find those muscles you didn't know you had. <laughs> that post and uh, with, a, with our dirt's got just enough clay and it's got sand and once we tamp in a post it stays we usually we don't have much a uh, problem at all especially if it rains once or twice so that's so nice another reason I love our property oh here he is Oh, Kaya, he's going to come over here. I told you. He's going to be thinking. He's moving closer and closer. He's thinking. Oh, I might be able to get to those little trees without them really noticing. Uh -huh. Yeah. He's being sneaky. we got to watch him. And we just have mushrooms all over the property and we many many different varieties and we have got to learn something about them so as I have said before if you're a small mushrooming channel please let us know if you are starting a mushrooming channel please let us know we would so like to help support your channel And as I've said before, uh oh, that got a little exciting. That was, it's kind of a heavy board there. Got one up front here that isn't, I, I'm in question of, she may have gotten worms. She looks a little puffy in the, in the throat. And it's, that's kind of worrisome. I hope not. We have lost a couple of them this year, two worms. Um, even with uh, always feeding them cayenne pepper and garlic and I think that's because they were on longer grass uh, to begin with when their immune systems were they were just little um, so we lose a few of them but not usually not many but uh, we've got eight little girls here these are all the little the newborn ewes this year and uh, we're using them for lawn mowing. And we're starting to think of some other organic ways to fight the worms to see if we can save uh, little use. Sometimes they'll come back out of it if you use enough garlic and enough pepper um, or if they can get to enough. So we just gotta make sure she's actually getting her portion and, and uh, she may come back out of it. Other times it doesn't work out, but you just never know. And this is this big board that he's decided to put up here. It's what it's what we got. So that's another thing we like to do. We like to use what we got to the best of our ability. Oh. Oh, sometimes I gotta help. And I'm just gonna hold that towards him. So I can land that board. Yeah, he's decided to put a gate in this little enclosure. 
measure. So he's just measured right with the gate, and now he's putting in the post hole for that. I guess before this, he already screwed in the little screws, and I didn't notice, but uh, that's how he hangs his gates. Just screw in the little uh, bolts or the little uh, attachments. And we he used posts that already had it done. That's why I didn't see it. Yeah, that's how that happened. Yeah, but he just put. They already had the little attachments for your gate on there and he just hung his gate and now he's going to put the post in and a little uh, chain to hook into this apparatus on the gate and that's that for the gate. It's our beautiful pear tree and right next to it you see the dead, dead apple tree not very far from it and then we have the persimmon tree. And so this is just a beautiful place for the horse to come and enjoy his persimmons right now. I was in the house looking for more small channels to invite to watch our channel and, and uh, to invite um, to have us watch them. Um, Daniel was completing this fence around our peach trees. So to protect our peach trees from our horse and our and our sheep and because they have been attacked before and we just don't want to lose these two little peach trees. <laughs>